Good morning, folks. Meteor lit up the skies over Texas the previous night. People heard sonic booms, but this was the only footage. Today we've got extreme weather, news of the space variety, and we'll peek in on that feature lifting near the sun's polar region. Let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com, taking a look at the last 24 hours on our star. There are a number of features to see, even some surface activity with some of them, but alas, none is significant. The incoming sunspot group can be seen here in 304 angstroms. Not much going on, even when we do catch a little flash, just not making anything significant. And in 171 angstroms, you should be able to see how the two groupings side by side arch independent of one another for the most part, with only small scale field connections between the groups. That means unless these two actually collide, we're likely to see the Earth facing quiet continue. Maybe a chance for mixing in the trailing group, but there's been no evidence of it yet. Zooming out in 304 angstroms, we begin to see that northern feature lift. It was indeed a plasma filament that swung into view, but saw the trouble the Earth facing quiet was giving the sunspots and decided he'd rather try his luck heading out towards the North Star. Much of it came back down to the sun. Of course, yesterday we mentioned that March and April should dwarf the two previous months quaking, and the coronal holes do have a shot to begin that in the next 72 hours. But first, its solar wind has arrived at Earth. It came on with a brief density rise last night, followed by a ramped particle speed. I know the charts show green this morning, but the Disaster Prediction app just sent out the geomagnetic storm alert, so let's see how long it takes the government to announce it. We're moving on to scientists finding seriously old deep space features. EU proponents, this is a ignore the black hole discourse and focus on the observations type of situation. Next one is a lesson in observations versus modeling. They say they've got a computer to make planets out of dust grains and accretion disks, but clearly they've never heard of the Kladney plate. This model is based on gravity, no electricity or magnetic interactions between the grains or stellar wind from its star and something tells me that's not going to work. Anyway, this is what San Diego was waking up to yesterday. That storm crept across the desert thereafter. The Albuquerque windstorm was no joke. But as night fell, the problems persisted. Those tornadoes warned about yesterday indeed dropped, killing at least two and smashing directly into a nursing home in Illinois. Luckily, that system is marching fast, leaving mostly a rain concern going forward today. But if you look like you're under the gun here, please check your local forecast around lunchtime to be sure. Folks, it is the end of the wire, not only because observing the frontier is only five weeks away, but because we have to submit some final numbers here for food and other items. So if you want to come, what are you waiting for? And if you've already booked your spot, make sure the hotel still has room for you. We've got pressure and radar forecast for the rest of the world, a null school run up through the atmosphere, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.